R2-D2, Your Highness. Welcome to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host, Steve. As some of you may know, I was contacted by Model Space to do reviews on their brand new 118th scale X-Wing. And that was fantastic. And I hope I received more issues for that. In the meantime, they also contacted me about doing reviews on their R2-D2, but that never panned out. I was so excited to do that that I decided to subscribe to it. So what I have done is I have subscribed to Model Space's R2-D2 one half scale uh, kit. And I've got so far the first two months have been sent to me. So I will be doing videos on those. Each issue, issue by issue. So some issues will be shorter than others. But it will be kind of like a video vlog where you can uh, look at all the parts that are included with the kit. And I'll probably throw just a few pages of the magazines towards the end of the video so they're there for prosperity as per se you know whatever uh, that could help somebody out in the future when they're building that kit themselves so I'm very excited about that and let's get started with issue one Here it is, issue one of the D'Agostini R2-D2. This is Advanced AI System Fully Mobile Autonomous Droid. And here are the parts that came with issue one. There's two ways to subscribe to this. I subscribe to the Premium Edition, which gives you some additional figures, figurines. Uh, for my Star Wars collection, I decided it was worth getting the Premium Edition. And these are some of the items here. The first pack included uh, all four issues, along with a poster it looks like here. Open this up and uh, give us some advertisement on what's included here. The magazine itself, Building the Galaxy, will look behind the scenes and techniques used to construct and film the droids. And then we'll look at, uh, in the magazine, also highlights the droid directory. And then understanding robotics and R2-D2 assembly guide on the very end of the magazine. And I'll show you the magazine at the end of the, this uh, first review, this first issue build. They give us a nice poster here to hang up about our half scale. Some of the highlights that go go on with this, I'm super excited because um, it has a one-piece metal dome, Wi-Fi enabled. You can uh, switch to uh, operating under a command or AI mode. Uh, video and still camera. We have a projector, extended arms, realistic droid movement, pop-up lightsaber, rechargeable battery. So there's a lot involved with this and uh, we'll get right into looking at the parts when I come back. And here are all the parts for issue one. They do include the screwdriver with this issue, and they do give us some screws. And we will look at the parts a little closer outside of the blister pack. Don't forget to check out my blog as I will be fo posting photographs of all the parts in the blog. Um, the blog is going to be used as a resource guide for anybody who may want to check out to see if they have any parts missing on any issues that they may purchase themselves. All right, here are all the parts laid out out of the blister pack. And we do get the screwdriver, which is magnetized. It should be able to pick up the metal screws. There are six silver screws and three black screws. 
The first thing that we're going to assemble, of course, here will be the R2-D2 processor state indicator. And the state indicator lights up blue and red according to what he is doing and his mood. This is the first stage and we'll start fitting the LED cluster into its mounting. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, put the indicator into the mounting here. And it's pretty simple. You just take and line up the connector with the hole on the back. That goes straight in just like that. And then we'll install the three screws here. Be careful that you don't over tighten these. Okay, we'll undo this. Now we have small connector on top and the larger connector on the bottom. Looks like we install the smaller connector into the socket. You want to line them up to where the connector pins are on the bottom and the slots are on the side there. we have it. So that is all that we uh, assemble with issue one and we wait to get the test box that way we can check out both the blue and the red lights that will come on in here uh, depending on what R2-D2 is doing is what these lights will do here. So we'll put, I'll put all these parts in a box in safekeeping and stay tuned for issue two. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling everybody. Now let's look at the magazine. Okay, issue one magazine. When you open it up, first thing you do is you have the table of contents, which gives us the building the galaxy, droid directory, understanding robotics, and building R2-D2, which are the instructions for the parts. Of course, this comes from uh, the influence of Ralph McQuarrie's and they mentioned uh, the silent running up here on top and they talk about the conceptual design here and the uh, R2-D2 storyboards that were involved there. Then we look at the R2 series Astromech Droids Part 1 Industrial Automation and they get into all the different features that this droid is capable of having and doing. And they kind of go here with a little bit of a case study they call it. Uh, demonstrates the capabilities of these robots as well as R2-D2. The learning skills way beyond his programming. He played a crucial part in the pivotal moments of the galactic history. And then the LED light emitting diodes talks a little bit about the first LEDs that were used uh, back in the day along with the new modern LEDs that we'll be using in this kit. Continuing on with that, and they talk about the first uh, LED component that we will be using, the cluster 
which gives us the processor state indicator for the red and the blue lights. And then up the right side gives us a list uh, a breakdown on all the parts that were included. We did not receive the fixing screws 2x there in this in this issue. We did get the six screws here and then the three smaller ones. The blister pack that the parts came in even said that those screws aren't included with this issue. Basically, we just follow the uh, instructions here, step by step. Just six parts here. They show us the test box we'll be getting and show us the indicator of the lights. And then they, the back gives us the upcoming issue two and issue, upcoming issue three.